hi there. You know, it is so nice when spring finally arrives in Vermont after a long winter. And one of the first signs of spring you'll see are the opening up of the pussy bones. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a lovely little pussy willow picture to share with family and friends. Stay tuned and I'll show you. Okay, for this project, which is a vase of pussy willow sitting on a little tabletop with a pretty tablecloth, you're going to need the following. You're gonna need three pieces of construction paper, one full-size one. This one I cut so that it's about a third of the size of that and a smaller piece of leftover paper. Think of the colors that you think look pretty together. You also need um, a brown crayon or oil pastel and a glue stick, as well as your temper cakes. Okay, and of course, to use those paints, you're going to need a paintbrush and a cup of water. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is put down our table at the bottom part of our paper. So let's put some glue on it, twist up the glue stick, spread it around, line it up. That's not lined up. Is that lined up? No, this is lined up. Line it up and rub it down. Now I want my, my vase, and if I put it right here, I don't have much room for my pussy willows, plus it might fall off the table, so I'm gonna move it down to here. But you know what? I want it to be a little curvy, so before I start, I'm gonna take it and cut just a little curve off the corners. I just think it looks nice like that. Now, instead of putting it here, I am gonna put it down sitting right in the middle of the table. Let's glue that down. That'll give us more room for putting our pussy willows, and it looks nice as well. Mm, that's just about right. Okay, rub it down. Okay, so now I'm going to make my pussy willows. The branches and the little fuzzy part. That looks like a kitten's tail. So, let's think of the branches, how they would look. Let's put some up high, press down hard so you get some nice color. Maybe one that way. Maybe I'll have one over here. Maybe I'll have one there, and maybe a little one over there. And so it'll show up on this purple background. I'm gonna press down hard. Okay, can you see that? Now, what I'm gonna do next is make these little fuzzy things. But instead of drawing them, I am gonna do it with my thumb and fingerprints. First, I have to get my paints wet. I'm gonna get this nice and wet, it has to be quite wet. Then, I am gonna take my finger and I'm going to print the little fuzzy things on. It doesn't work if I just go like that. I have to rub my finger on. One, two, three, four, five, here. And notice how they go on either side. So one here, go back and rub it. One here, one here. You get the idea. Continue on till it's all done. So I, so I printed my pussy willow fuzzies all over the paper. I had to go back a few times and get it wet. And remember, you have to rub your finger around and around to get a good amount of paint on your brush. Now, it, it's all done. I could say I'm all finished and give it to somebody special. And the nice thing is they're going to have your fingerprints as well as your artwork. Or I could say, but I wanna decorate my tablecloth. If you wanna do that, Pick a color that'll show up. Maybe on this one, a blue would show up, and you can add a hopover pattern to your tablecloth. You decide, do you like it plain, or do you wanna add pattern? Have fun, take your time to do a nice job. Think of who you can give this to for a present, but make sure before you give it away, you take a picture of your work and send it to me. I can't wait to see it. 